Kokoku is a good anime that I feel never got the attention it deserved. Like, people say its opening was great, but the show itself wasn't talked about pretty much any. Though in a way, I understand why. While it was a solid show from beginning to end, it did not have much to make it exceptional. Except for two things. The motivation of the main villain was very unique and fascinating. And then there's the horror the characters face in the final episode. So, for day 7 of the 12 Days of Anime, let's talk about that final episode and what makes it so fascinating. Which would be easier if I actually remembered like, all the plot, character names, and all that. I'm rewatching the final episode to make this video, though I probably am getting some details wrong, so I apologize. So, at this point in the series, the heroes had defeated the villains and they are ready to return to their normal lives. Except they are stuck in stasis, where time has frozen for everyone but them. And the artifact that would allow them to restart time has been destroyed. The main character, Jerry, has the power to knock people out of stasis, but she cannot use this power on herself. That means she can send everyone else back. She is stuck in a world where time is frozen. Forever. Can you imagine this? Everything frozen around you. You can't interact with anyone. For a while, she's joined by her grandpa, which gives her some companionship, but she feels bad for keeping him here, so she sends him back when he is sleeping one night. She also has the baby she is raising, but doesn't want him to stay in this world forever, so after six months, she also sends him back. With her grandpa gone, we start to see her mindset as the days go on and soon become months. She's trying to be strong, keep herself together, and for a while is committed to raising the child. Though after half a year, she sends him back, leaving her completely alone. We get small glimpses into each day and start to see her sandy slipping. She's desperate, living the best she can while all alone, but she can only take so much. She reaches a point where she just yells into her room, destroys her pillow, and we can feel her desperation for someone, anyone, something she can never have. I just love the look we get into her here. How she's free to do anything she wants, go anywhere she wants. But she's alone. She can't cheer up, but doesn't want to be depressed. She's fighting this as best she can. Still, we feel her loneliness. She keeps ordering herself not to have depressing thoughts, but the burden of that is overwhelming. She even questions if it's worthwhile to stay sane, and what her reason for living is now that she's alone. I also love the lack of music in much of the episode. How it really let the mood convey how she was alone. Eventually, she begins to turn into one of those monsters, though to be honest, I forget how those work, but she's saved by the founder and sent back. In a way, you could say this is a forced happy ending that came out of nowhere, and yeah, I get that. But still, the look that we got into Jury was great. How she tried living the best she could for 200 days in stasis knowing that she would probably be stuck there forever. And then the joy she felt coming back home to the family that was waiting for her was a great way to wrap up this series about family. So let me know if you've seen Kokoku and remember anything about it beyond the opening. And I'll be back tomorrow to talk about some topic that I'm not quite sure of, but that is a problem for tomorrow me.